All right, welcome to the channel. So I have this um, cabin air filter for my 2022 Kia EV6. I bought it for a long time now, and I just have never had a chance uh, to put it in a car. I was waiting for the 32,000 miles. Um, the dealership didn't change that, so um, I will show you what to do uh, when you need to replace your uh, EV6. Ionic 5 carbon air air filter and I will show you it is in the front and I will show you I will show you how to take it out and how to replace that okay uh, if this is your first time viewing this channel um, please subscribe all right so I am going to go ahead and uh Unlock the front. And you pull the tab here. So I'll open the front. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put this here. And uh, you had a latch here. Oops, oops. let me use my hand. All right, so uh, this is a little front right here. Uh, you remove this cover, and uh, this is where the cabin air filter is. So let me go ahead and uh, bring the replacement. Just put it right here for now. So let me put the camera here so that you guys can see what I am doing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the tab here push you have to climb these two down and uh, pull out so this is the cover right here I'm gonna put that here and here is the the filter so this one you can see the part number right here if you want to get this from the dealer there's a part number you need to use but this was compatible with it so as you can see it is compatible with the I'm going to take that out and uh, I believe I got this off Amazon so as you can see it is compatible with it it feels a little bit lighter compared to this one I will see how uh, it measure up uh, with the car I mean with this one so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove this but it says Hyundai on there uh, Hyundai but this could also be used for Kia because they all use the same part anyway. Uh, okay, there's a tough uh, plastic to, to break apart. All right, cool. So now I am about to, and you also have uh, the diagram right here. So let's see the flow up. And let's see here. All right, this side flow it down. So uh, let me see. So the flow is going downward. So I'm gonna put it downward. Uh, this is showing a different diagram, but usually they are the same. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, put this in. And that is in. And that's all. That's what you do. And you remove the filter and it's all good. All right, so once you're done, you go ahead and uh, put back the cover. And uh, that's it. It's all covered up and you close the front. And, uh, and you discard this in a recyclable and this in the trash. So um, if you want the link in the description, I will post that on the Amazon uh, page. 
uh, the Amazon link uh, in the description so if you're interested in getting one of these you can go ahead and do that if not you can call your local dealers uh, dealership and uh, get one from there subscribe subscribe like and share the channel uh, check out my videos my uh, road trip videos for my EV6 charging session videos EVSE um, is a uh, review videos and also um, motorcycle videos and uh, news weekly news videos so uh, check out those videos hit the thumbs up and um, also share my videos if you have any questions feel free to ask, uh, to ask question on the comment section and I'll respond um, to you as soon as I can so uh, with all that being said let's go ahead and uh, replace uh, this cabin air filter so if you want to get one from your local dealership you can also order one from your local Kia dealership and um, and that's it for replacing the cabin air filter for your 2022 2021 22 23 Kia EV6 I believe 2024 same thing uh, they haven't changed the parts or anything they're still the same um, unless they have like a refresh but usually they keep the parts most car manufacturers they keep the same kind of parts uh even i remember when i had my honda accord it's like i mean you can't use the same part from 20 2008 accord to like 2013 14 and honda accord and even till the latest one i don't think they changed that much in some certain part so um and uh let me go ahead and turn the car on turn the car on and uh And right now, I turn the cat. Uh, the, well, the heat is already on. Actually, hey. the AC is on. You want some wipers, Daddy? Huh? You want some wipers, Daddy? Yes. So right now, I don't know what's going on with the uh, reset. Uh, required reset. Um, that should have been. The, the dealer should have done that since so the day that I took it there. I probably have to call them back for them to fix that. Um, I tried to reset it on the app or on the car. It kept on resetting to the next uh, uh, 8,000 miles and stuff. And it's like, I don't think I need that. So I will try and see if I can research that and fix it again or call the customer service to see what's going on. <laughs> So um, I did my little research and I tried to reset it, but it didn't work. So um, I will try again. If not, I'll have to call the customer service because I don't think they did their job right. Because if they did, I wouldn't be saying the service required um, notification on my car. So I'll probably just have to call the customer service and see what they can do. Um, and this is some of the things that I don't know about kids. Like, they just a simple thing that they could be, they, they can get right and they just can't get it right. So, um, well, thank you for watching. If this is your first time viewing this channel, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Check out my videos and uh, comment in the videos and like the videos, okay? I'll see you in another video. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye-bye.